Hi, my name is Sjoerd de Vries. In this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate you how to change the template to be able to make an option to insert notes. And as you can see the normal notes are there, note and highlighted note, but I duplicated them to have a test instruction, a start situation, end situation, and a press enter to continue note. All these notes are based on the similar pattern, um, they are actually duplicated, but for example my note to click anywhere to, uh, or press enter to continue uh, only appears in a simulation and not in a document. So if I delete all these notes and have all, all, only have an explanation, then this would be very suitable. Um, I can create notes that are only available in the self-test or in assessment test, or I can have a specific formatting. Um, you do this by changing the template. So first you go to the file menu, you click open and you select template. You need to be an administrator to do this. So you select the template you are going to change. Um, for this demonstration, I already changed it. Um, when it has been modified locally since the last time, it will ask you to download it again from the Uperform server or to download the copy from the server and overwrite the lo local copy. To have my template clean I just download the server version and after I open it uh, it will display some tabs, general properties, phrases, publications, styles, blocks, sections at the bottom. Uh, the notes are available as blocks so if you look at this list, these are small building blocks and some of them are used as notes. So if I select note, then you see that the type note appears here or highlighted note and note. If I modify these, then the language is selected. For example, this is the English note and I can just format it. Um, I can just add some text here um, some information here and right click on it to format it or insert for example images tables even captured images or lines um, if I scroll down I can see this item is not used by default you can insert it still in a simulation but it's not automatically there of course but the stylus document note. Here all the styles are available and you shouldn't change this one. Um, it's, it's the basic formatting of the note. However, you can select if it's visible in a document or not. Uh, the same for simulation note. Don't change it here because it's already pre-formatted, but you can change in which mode this specific topic is available. And you can even define, for example, a pointer an icon. If I go back to the all blocks section, uh, the same applies for the default highlighted note. The only thing I changed is having some default text in here, which can guide your users uh, on what to fill in there. If you like your, your notes, you can also make some changes. For example, uh, I created uh, four others by just selecting the, the, the default one. Uh, duplicate it and give it a new name. For example, new note. Uh, I started it also with note because I want to have them uh, in the same order in my list. Um, then you click on modify. And as you can see, the basic is now done here. And then you can say, for example, this note is available in all notes and just save it. Now you're going to upload it. So after you save it, you check it in. Starting to upload it. 
you closed the simulation uh, you close the, the template um, and open your simulation again to check your your work and now I have it in my menu here new note which is available here this concludes uh, my tutorial thank you for listening